Well, Welcome to Gimmick Cast, where our gimmick is Zane is the only one without a job. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving past <laughs> that shit. Um, nothing much has happened this week. Not gonna lie. The only thing I want to talk about is like briefly mention that the the uh, the world ends with you is getting an anime, and that's about it. <laughs> <coughs> I sleep. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you know, you know. Let's start with the antidote because uh, while I was waiting for Ethan to do his thing, and then I had a lot of free time, and I was in, before I was streaming as well. I, I, this guy pings me going, all right, I want to put Time Thief in his extra weapon deck. I'm like, okay, let's try to do this. <laughs> I thought we were doing Spriggans. Yeah, I know. I was talking about this other guy that wanted my help. Oh, okay, so we're doing two things now. Yeah, no, no, this is just, this is me just talking about, I've already sol solved this. It's just me complaining. Oh, okay. I'm complaining. And he's like, yeah. I, I give him the Time Thief engine. And then he shows shows me his deck list after some test playing. He completely cuts out Regulator, and he goes, "I'm like, why did you cut out Regulator?" And he's like, "Oh well, it didn't really do anything for me. It was useless." I'm like, "How?" The card you summon that gives you in a Utopia deck. Like, I get it. You could just yeah, sure, you just waste your normal summon on a Regulator. But, you know, you can still get the, you can still do the combo where you do Quantico, da 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 and then you can still make Vido and Utopia. Like, come on! Yeah, I mean, here's the thing is, with the new Zexal weapon stuff as well, he can just go without normal summoning, summon, and then go Regulator. Exactly. So, I just gave up and went, just run Gaga, just do it, just run the Gaga engine, and that worked much better. <laughs> It does, but at the same time, this guy's an idiot. To be fair, he, he is a well-known troll, but this time he oh. was definitely genuine about asking my help about this. That's interesting. So, yeah. But anyway. Uh, talking about this topic, I, I'm just curious. What would you all consider yourself to, like, in terms of ego, what would you consider yourself to be specialised in? Like, like... Like in types of like, what decks or an archetype? Because for me, I think it's time thieves, but I feel like maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I like to play very oppressively, if that helps. Mm. Like if, when I play Crusader, it's either a one-hit kill where you can't do shit. I don't know. Or... I I kind of think well, you're the guy who knows how to play machines. I mean, I do know how to play machine. Exactly. That's, That's why I asked you to help me with my spinning deck. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, and then... I don't know what Gilkey does. Probably zombies. Zombies? Really? Yeah. He plays he th plays things like trick stars and Salomon grids. Yeah, How's but, he but, zombies? Yeah, before that, <laughs> he was, like, playing Zombie World. He was playing Makashis. He was playing... Shiranui's. Shiranui's. Yeah, 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 okay, that makes sense. Which <laughs> and, then, and then you got... I, you know, I think if we were, we were the rank, like... Me, Ethan, Connor, Jamie, and Gilkey, I think in list of how good they are in terms of building decks, I think it would go Jamie, me, Ethan, Gilkey, you probably swap me and Ethan around, and then Gilkey, then Connor. No, I, I'm agree with that. Yeah. Wait, Jamie's good then for that deck. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jamie yeah, is probably the best deck, deck builder of us because he's not, he's not fucking metaphobic like me. Yeah. Also, like, he's he also makes very interesting decks. I remember when he just played, basically, it was a trap deck where it had no archetype or anything, but it still beat everything we had. Yeah, because it was <laughs> bloody ferret burn. Not really. What do you mean? Ceasefire! He just went, oh, ceasefire flip! Ha ha ha! burn, ha. I mean, yeah, but it, it mainly mainly things I remember was like he would play Mirror Force and tra all the trap holes, and then he would play Eater of Millions. <laughs> yeah, and then I think me and Ethan are interchangeable depending on what you want. Like, I, I think Ethan is far more knowledgeable in more like meta relevant decks. And uh, then, that, yeah. And then if but if you're more into casual, then I think I would be better than Ethan in that subject. I'm just here. And then Gilkey, yeah. you have a very w good understanding of some decks, and then you have Connor who just plays super heavy. I mean, he was trying to build Salomon Grace the last time I talked to him. 
Yeah, but he probably only knows how to play Super Heavy. Let's be realistic. Yeah, I mean, it's the thing he started with. Yeah. Huh, anyway, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! news, because there's only like three pieces of Yu-Gi-Oh! news I want to bring up. Let's start with this Rush Duel card that has that new robot thing from Sevens on it. Oh, the Mac? Yes. Overroad thing. Yeah, the... I don't want to say its full name, because it's like, just ridiculously Yeah, this is big. Tension Max. Yes. Is a normal also, spell. by the way, that maximum card only existed for two episodes in the anime, and is never coming back. Good. Aww. It's the firewall dragon <laughs> of the series. Maybe. Anyway, it's require. It's a normal spell for crime. It's send one monster from your hand to graveyard. Choose one face up monster your opponent controls. This turn, it gains four hundred attack, and it it attacks pierce. If it is a level ten, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. You know what's, so you know what's generic... sad? This is right. actually probably a good card because it's Vashtal. In any other format, this would be a bad card. <laughs> yes. Because it's Vashtal format. Listen, I don't even think people will play it anyway. I definitely. To be totally fair with you. Like, yes, it's a generic card, but it helps maximum summons them more. But it's probably not going to get played. There are some better cards. It's not even a hard once per turn. Oh no, but that's the thing. In Rush Duels, it's all automatic once Ooh. per turn. Oh. It's a rule, not a card description. Oh, why isn't that a rule? <laughs> yeah, because, oh, here's the thing. It, that sort of kind of Rush Duels it kind of fixed itself. Because that's what Konami didn't do. <laughs> and they can't go back because they'd have to update every card text. <laughs> <laughs> anyway which uh, is like basically reprint everything in the game yeah huh, well that's our mandatory one minute of rush tool talk uh, moving on we got <laughs> I think the la oh wait no this is post ice barrier support already we the destruction deck has we don't have even done the reprints yet and we've already yeah. got announced pre Post structure support for ice barriers through lighting overdrive. So we got mirror judge of the ice barrier. Which is yet again it seems like to be doing Gishi law, because this is just Nic Gishi in Italia. You're not wrong. I mean they kind of appeared from like nowhere. Yeah. So it makes like, sense. They kinda of have to I, do it. Yeah. Anyway, so it's a level 4 water, so it might as well be Bahamut. <coughs> Mirror Judge of the Bahamut Barrier. I think that's a better name. What do you think? Yeah. Mir, Mir Bahamut of the Ice Barrier? I think that's a better name, yeah. Oh my god, I love this card already. I'm just feeding this event. While you control another Ice Barrier, your opponent loses 500 life points each time they pay life points to add their card effect. Oh no, my own. Oh, oh wait! <laughs> Zane gets excited for a brief moment. <laughs> Gravity burn, ice barrier splash. What? Why? Gravity burn, ice barrier splash. What do you mean? Remember, gravity burn makes a mandatory pay 500 life points for every effect they activate. Yeah. Oh, wait, that... Oh, oh. It's an ice barrier version of gravity burn and red eyes. Yeah, oh. but this only activates when they pay life points to activate a card or effect. Boo. So splash it with gravity. Do it. Do it. You won't. Oh, I'm it's just. Worse. I'm gonna Boo. make a gravity engine. I'm gonna try and make a gravity engine now. That's okay. That's your challenge for the week. <laughs> oh no! Right now, my challenge for the week is trying to figure out new time fee for engine ratios. So I'll talk to you about my dilemma after we go through all these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Hey, um, a new card. Yeah, we've gone over it. He's oh. gone over it in the. Personal video. Yes. I, yeah, yeah, but I still want your guys' opinions on Adjuster anyway, so uh, we'll talk about Adjuster after we talk about this other thing. Anyway, uh, this, so believe it or not, Mirajar has like two more effects. Um, you can target after two Ice Bears in your graveyard and two cards in your opponent's graveyard. Shuffle them into your deck. And that's it. <laughs> and then you can. No... Yeah, but if you could turn. Yeah, that does nothing. 
Like, yeah, ooh, recycle my Ice Barrier monsters, but give the opponent cards too. If this had a draw, draw two effect, then maybe I'd be okay with it, but no. Uh, if you control an Ice Barrier monster, banish this card from the graveyard, then target one attack position once on the field, change its defense position. Yeah. This is miraculously useless. And there's so many good ideas on it. But then they all just kind of don't finish. The only good part about this is the fact it's a level four water warrior, so you can voter it and then Baham it with it. But that's about it. <laughs> Another useless card for the ice barrier pile. <laughs> Until pile. we make gravity engine fireball. I don't know how you're going to do that because that is a very tough. Pull. We'll make it work. Y you'll make it work, but then it'll only work in Pandalon decks. Fuck! <laughs> what if I did it the other way around? What if I made an ice barrier engine? No. <laughs> You're set on this. So okay, anyway. let's move on to adjust to this. Oh, I was about to talk about the um, premium pack 2021. Oh, you mean the sales for it? Yes, because it's apparently gonna. It's made to order. And then upper limit, da da da. Primary. It's. You can only order it between December. Yeah. But also, it's only for the OCG. <sighs> I can't wait for it to come over to the TCG. Um, I mean, looking at the box, you can see what other stuff are here. And mainly, I can see the game that. Uh, what's that Dual Devastator exclusive card that I can't remember right now? Uh, the Ghost Girl? Yeah, that Ghost Girl. It looks like they're getting it imported into this set. Yeah. Yes, because we had that was exclusive to us, wasn't it? And they also got Info Infernoble Knights in here too, for some reason. Yeah, they were imprinted them in there, and I don't know. Because I don't think they're metal in the OCG. But I'll double check that. Yeah, but OCG meta is bonkers, and I love it. I love it. Can we just play OCG meta at some point? No, oh, we have to. I just... Oh, so good. Anyway, alright. Alright, so let's preface this with the fact that I already made a video talking about my opinion on Adjuster. And to save but us I'm time. Wrong. So now, in Ethan, now Ethan and Gilkey are going to talk on. about Adjuster. Hang on. Hang on, just one quick second. Um... <coughs> invite him. Invite him, Gilkey. We'll Fuck. get his opinion as well. <laughs> what? What? No, that, that means I have to put more people in the fun that I can barely fit Gilkey in. I can. What makes you think I can fit four? Just go for it. Alright, fine, but you, Terry's not getting one. I mean, okay. Jack's not getting one. Fucking it, this podcast is a mess. <laughs> it is a mess, but at the same time. So I while while they saw that out, I guess I can just briefly mention, um, because I've got faster internet speeds over here where I'm saying it right now, podcast is going to be coming out the same day, day it's recorded, and I'm thinking of moving oh. Monster Hunter to being weekly every Friday. Oh. Oh. Wait, weekly on a Friday? Yeah. Oh, that's good, I've already <laughs> added the video for, Friday, for Thursday, so it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I, honestly, that works out better for me, though, because I've got to upload um, the Scooby-Doo video. Um, yesterday, so I can upload that tomorrow mm. as well. Excellent. Oh, which means I'll be doing double uploads on Friday. Oh, good. All right, Jackson joining us. Okay, good. I don't need to worry about the thumbnail now. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> just, uh, um, it's okay. It the double double once per turn is kind of annoying. Definitely. But um. Uh. I mean, it does. It's good for what it does, though. Like, its effects still make up for the double one per turns. It just means you're going to have different combo paths whenever you use it, as I think we talked about earlier, Zane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Gilkey's turn. <laughs> yeah, Gilkey's your turn. What is life? <laughs> what is life? 
No, 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 no. It's what is love, you dumbass. Now, I know. We're talking about. We're talking life. about. We're talking about Justa Gilkey. Um, it's just a what? A decent guard. It gives you an extra sum. <clears throat> it's a special summon once you summon normal summon a monster. Um, I'm not too sure about the grave <laughs> effect because I don't know all the card effects of Time Deep, but. What's your personal take about the grave effect or foolish burial? Sorry. I mean, yeah. What targets does it have? That's a good question. Gilkey. I do talk about this in the video, but the refresh you it would mainly be. I think maybe it'll be Bezel ship, because if you do. Oh yeah, Bezel ship attaches right. Bezel ship, Bezel ship, and flyback. I think are the main ones. Yeah, those attached to the X Y Z. Yeah. Of course, Chrono Code, Regulator, and um. Startup have very odd effects, but yet again, you can see in the Time Thief engine, those are going to end up in your graveyard regardless, so. Yeah. I mean, cause especially since the main race was, it keeps banishing itself. So, effects in graveyard are going to be easy to get. So, yeah, that works. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. So, anyway, do, you, do we want to talk about the mole dilemma I'm having that isn't about Spingens? Uh, yeah. So, How do you fit this into a thing? Okay, so what what is the problem? Alright, let me just stream um, my screen for you guys. Um, if I can get it to open up you go so I can stream it. Oh, no, don't don't be like this. There we go. Alright. Alright, so if I bring up the what the Time Thief engine would normally look like. I'll clear this out and then... Like, just make sure like, we all know what the Time Thief engine would look like in general. Just what? This. This. <clears throat> this. And then what? Three startups. One hack. Two flybacks. This is what mm -hmm. the normal engine looks like. The question is, where does adjust it fit and what are the ratios for it? <laughs> and this has been driving me fucking nuts. Mainly for two reasons. One, if you want to make use of adjuster... You have to search off Winder, which means you're probably going to take out Hack, and then what, you play one Adjuster? That's a bit weird though, because then the monster ratio is way too fucking high. So then what, you take out the Beezle ship? But then Beezle ship is like... Mm. <sighs> then you can probably take out the Flybacks already, because they're kind of like useless. But then what, you... The, the, the engine looks like this now. Wait, and then two Beezle ship. It's weird! <laughs> I mean, like... Adjusted just makes me question how the Time Thief engine works. Yeah, where, where does this fit? Because it has... It's more so In the build you have right now, it, well, you can use either effect. Hmm. But at the same time, it's like... It, sh it doesn't advance anything. Hmm, exactly. So It's I just a placeholder. I think the best way to do this is you don't you just run two adjusters. And then you run, not retrograde, fuck retrograde, two flybacks. Yeah, retro retrograde's a nice card. And then if you don't want to use flybacks, you side in the Beezle ships. Yeah, it has I to be. I think that's the best way to do it. But yet again, I don't know. It's confusing me. It's, I mean, torturing myself for this over two nights now. <laughs> okay, go test hand and trust the engine in action. Oh, but... Well, so what? Realistically, it would be like. Well, not like this, where you draw two of yeah. these cards. Oh my That's god. That's such a good hand. It's probably because I need to fit it into it. Right. You know, let's just do this the easy way. Let's bring up one of my um, Time Thief cards decks. Sorry, audience, you can't see this, but eat shit. Oh no, god, not that one. I hate that one. That one we don't acknowledge. And then, what? Test hand this? So, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I want to kill myself. No. So, let me just dig really deep for my... Oh my god, why you do this to me? Because we're watching. You're gonna get there. No, fuck it. I actually gave up. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is easier. Uh, yeah, I'm doing no Dark Lord plays because I just choose whatever time for you deck I saw. 
This is pain. <laughs> this is active torture. Oh my god, don't do this to me. I <laughs> I know. I'm so Oh my god. I drew two of the one-offs. The garnet. Okay, things. this is good. So realistically, you want to do start, regulator, regulator. So you don't, you, maybe don't you do normal summon, and then you would have done winder, chronicoder, and then you probably would have done like winder search hack. But I think the right route you would do now is adjuster, because then when you do the normal play with chronicoder, so it goes like this. Because current current gets its effect on onto the X Yeah, right? and then and then you detach it, da da da. Summons itself, adjust the summons itself, or and then you could, or because before you would either have to activate Winders' effect if you had it in hand, or normal summon another level four to make the other level four. Mm. But then yet again, you, you, you can't even run hack as a one off because you only get the Winder search once per turn. Yeah, I think the way you had it before, where it was... No, oh, wait, with the Beazle ship side is probably better. Because Beazle ship needs to be in the graveyard anyway. Yeah. Oh, so... I I, I'm glad we figured that out, because I was planning to make a update to the time feed video, talking about a, um, new ratios with adjust in it. Yeah, which would be... And then even then, if you prefer, and then also it could be preference with it, which, which you play as well. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately with the Dark Lord deck, I can't really afford the side out the beast. No, ships, but so. in the instance of another deck, like one that is based like a Zexal Weapon Time Thief deck. Yeah. Oh my god, I should show you that Zexal Weapon deck we made. Oh my god, it's so funny. Um, so. I don't have it here saved, so I'm just gonna. All right, let oh. me get the picture and I'll put it in the chat because it's so fucking stupid. So this is his file iteration, I think, and I'll just put it in the ch um, research chat for us. The research chat. <clears throat> so look at these ratios and tell me what's wrong. One XYZ tactics. <laughs> play triple XYZ tactics. You don't play any of the automatopoeia stuff. No, he's not even playing Para to search his the engine. He's not playing Para. He took out Para. What? Yeah, no. Why is he playing all this automatopoeia stuff? Because because um, I was playing pick up it searches Para. It works so much better. Hang on. Yeah, the continuous search is um, Para. Para then gives you the uh, Gargar -ga glove and coat, and then maybe even the. Or you can go for the baby Utopia over here. And then. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I guess send a picture of my attack list. This is terrifying. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> it got worse. It got. Hang on. Let's go about this one, Chief. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this one either, Chief. This is what I was playing. Look at the dark world. Like... No, he's put, he's trying to play... Okay, he's trying to force an engine into a deck that doesn't need it. <laughs> yeah. Also, why is he playing Tornado Dragon? I told him to put that in the sides. Yeah, Not in his main. Like that was a abyss dweller before. That's uh, no, 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 no. This this is wrong. <laughs> Wait, are you criticizing yourself? That you, yeah, you're the one with the tornado dragon in extra. The tornado dragon. Yeah, you're the one that put tornado dragon in extra. He he still has the abyss dweller. See, I forgot about Visual when I was making the deck, but it's fine because you never really. So, go where into... did you get the fucking Tornado Dragon from? Tornado Dragon. There's no Tornado Dragon in the deck profile I posted that he had. Yeah, no, no, but this is what I built. Yeah, okay. 
So you, in other words, we were criticizing you for putting Tornado Dragon in in the main extra instead of signing it. Yes. Okay. Fuck fine. you. <laughs> language thing. Okay, I know. I I know. I should be watching my language. Good boy. Anyway, the he's trying to force the automata peer stuff in here. I tried that and it didn't work, and it works fine without it. <coughs> Like even if if I was going to fit in the time engine, uh, time thief deck, I would take uh, engine. I would take out, like, make all of the ZWs outside of the um, the tiger saber, like one offs. Mm. Like, and then maybe some of the other gimmicky trap stuff would also be removed. But <sighs> why did he try and fit all the automated peer stuff in there? Cause why not? They're two different decks. I don't know. I, I was the one that recommended he would run the OMAP stuff, but... Me, because I thought, oh yeah, Utopia deck, might as well run Gargars. It's... Because Gargars are might as well be designed for Utopia. Well, they are. And I don't... I won't disagree with that, but the ZW... The new ZW stuff is meant to work on its own. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at my monster ratio. It is so tiny. Yeah, you are tiny. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, he's he's not he's not denying it. Don't go over it. Um. Anyway, I guess. Move on to the screen on stuff. Yes, because I had an idea for a deck, and this is definitely going back to my old school Yu-Gi-Oh roots, where I made decks based on solely one interaction. Yes. <laughs> so y you want to know why we're talking about spingins? Why? Because I, I want to put Time Thief in there. For one okay, interaction. I, I... And it's because of their field spell. <laughs> yes. So, I, I went and messed with the Sprig and stuff. To, to go do this. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. Ignore the gold gadgets. And some of the gadgets. Oh, thank God. I hate these cards. While they're good startup cards, they're like you're mixing time thieves and spriggans. They they're completely useless. Exactly. So, um, here's the ratios I came to for, for spriggans. Good. All right. As like working together with another deck is triple copies of the level fours. Okay. Wow. Still for because they recycle themselves. Um. And then one of each of the big boys. Wow, all right. Because um, the big boys don't really do anything. <laughs> hmm. um... And don't get me wrong, they're nice cards, but they don't really do anything. <laughs> hmm. All right, what about um, um, Fallen, Fallen Owlbaz? Yes, Fall, Fallen Owlbaz you can play triple copies of, and it does absolutely everything because it isn't locked into anything. You literally can just play triple copies. And then... literally it locks into like level eight and so like high certain attack points. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't okay. matter what deck you're playing it in. Alright, good. And so then just... since we're not running can... that many of the rank eights or the level eights, I guess we're not really gonna be making rank eights in this deck, so I'll No, you... we are not. This deck cannot make rank eights. <laughs> it's literally impossible because the level 8s have no special summoning effects. Hmm. Alright, cool. There's no way to get them out. That's why they're one-offs. Even in a pure builder, they're two-offs. Which is saying something. Alright. Uh, also, by the way, if you're interested in this deck list, I'm planning to make a video on this, but it might change from then and now. So I'll put a link to the deck, um, or I guess a picture of the deck, um, in the description. Yeah. Anyway, what about these other ratios? Uh, what other ratios? Oh, uh, I mean, you could only play one of the traps. They're not really that useful. Cool. I'm um, running triple of the search card and triple of the field spell. Because... Yes, that is that is the most optimal way to play in this deck. Because yeah. the only thing this deck does is with the field spell or fall on Alabaz. So. Yeah. So. You need one or the other. 
So for those wondering why, what we're going to do shoving time thieves in here, mainly because I want to make use of the field spells effects. To get a free XYZ. Yeah. Because, yet again, I don't want to be... I feel like I, I shouldn't be banishing Spion's, um boss monster, which because it has the self-banish effect. So I don't want to do that. So I think it will be better if we re... Um, you know, have redo it to do it instead. So, <clears throat> yeah. So for the Time Thief engine, I guess we're just going to be doing triple winder, two adjuster, and then run two bees of ships inside because we're not smoke screening. One chrono coder, three regulator, and then I think two redoers, one double bow, one perpetua. So we still got room. Triple startup, uh, three no start hack. Up. Yeah, triple startup. No hack. No hack. Yeah, no hack. No, because weren't we were switching out um, the Beezle ships with the hack? No, no, we are taking out the Beezle ships for the adjuster. Yeah, then why are we getting rid of hack? Because you can't okay. search hack because you're using winder. Oh, right, yeah. <coughs> Double fly back, and that leaves us room for four staples. Four, yeah. I mean, there's no point running any of the other machines. So you ask me... Card. It's one no. hold by the graveyard, no. and then triple imp. Yeah, that sounds about good for me. And then we got two slots in the extra deck, uh, which will fill with rank fours. Uh, abyss dweller. Oh, okay. Then. All right, I forgot that before. You also might want to make. The, you can also make the um. Uh, get one of the chaos numbers the, that go to make the uh, utopia package a little bit bigger. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess we just. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I usually like to put utopia on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Mainly because I like to put rebellion. I like rebellion more. Uh, that's rebellion. fair. Rebellion's a good card. Where's my rebellion? Ah, oh, precious. Maybe when I have Platinum Red Rebellion, I still think I have it. I just misplaced it. I oh. still have my Platinum Red. Yeah. Platinum Secret Red. Ooh. It is a pretty card. If it was Ghost Bear, I would hate it, but it's a pretty card. <coughs> Elements? Where's your Abyss Dweller? Uh oh. Yeah, right. Oh, I put that. I'm looking for Abyss Dweller. Give me a bit. Oh, I, I guess. Did. I guess we could put a sun on it. Oh, okay. Talent on it is pretty good, actually. We got green strat. I got Castell in there. It's gonna take a while. Castell is outdated. <laughs> Where the hell is Abyss Dweller? Maybe if you put it Oh, there it, it is. Yeah. And then, of course, Cowboy for Game. Cowboy for Game. Oh, let's let's test this out with a test hand. Let's see. So this is pretty good. Just activate... That's actually a really good start off. Hmm. And then this. Uh, no, activate the search card, add the other one. Oh, uh, one, actually, you can add one of the big ones because you're not going to. Because. Which. Out of the bigger ones, which one would you go for? Uh, I think Banger has the better effect. Because it's a Banger. And then send which one? Uh, send Rocky. Actually, no, you can send the other. Oh, never mind. I made a mistake. Now activate the effect, d ditching the PD. PD. PD! And then... Yep. Now you can do... Activate their effects, which just attach themselves to the rocket. Rocket man! Rocket man! Regulator's effect won't go off now! Because we troll them Oh, we side. probably should have done that first. Yeah. Okay. Note to self, do Ooh. time thief stuff first. This is a bit of a weird hand. I mean, I mean, obviously you want a normal sign winder. You won't be able to get full combo, I think, of this if we do adjuster. Uh, maybe I mean, not. we could use okay. winder to search startup, startup special summon adjuster. Yeah, you can. And then we get the dump effect. Yeah. This is a very interesting podcast episode, isn't it? Where the audience just has to hear us doing combos. They don't see it. They yeah. hear it. You record using OBS anyway, so you could probably make it into a visual one. Yeah, what no, thing? I can't. I haven't cha bothered changing the screen yet. So I think... Do we want to send Cornicoda or Flyback? 
Uh, actually, if I do, Carter. yeah, actually, Cryo Carter, because then we can still get the combo off. Yeah. What, do you think? what do you think about Dark World and zombies? Go away. <laughs> no. Dark be... World Ajala. What did we tell you, Gilkey? <laughs> Dark World Ajala. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. And then. Um... Yeah, I can't really do much because we've already used up our normal summon. Chronico is there, so we can redirect damage at least. Hmm. It's not the best hand, yeah. but... Oh, this is much better. Wow. Double field spell. Spring in, and then... We've got Alabaz we can normal summon for a fusion summon. Yeah. It's like this, and then normal summon Alabaz? Yes. Wait, what am I missing here? Wait a minute, what? Fusion summon one fusion monster from yesterday deck using either mo monsters from either field as fusion material, including this card, but you cannot use other monsters you control as fusion material. Ah, uh -huh. there we go. <laughs> Fair enough. Which means you would then add the card from the graveyard. Yeah. Right. Um, <clears throat> activate uh, that. Remember, I'm thief stuff for. I know. <laughs> Let's dump stuff first. Let's go out search and dump off. So, what? Do we want to send Banger to the graveyard? Yeah. Uh, add no. the two big ones, yeah. Yeah, add Banger add to hand. And then... They, they, they attach from anywhere. And then send yeah. Spigus. Oh, that's pretty good then. Now, summon normal summon regulator, so we don't get Alibar's play. Yes, that's fine. Find a Chronicoder. Blinder gives us the adjuster. Mm -hmm. And then, I just realized you could probably do rank, like, you know the rank fours that require to have three monsters to summon? Yeah. yeah. You could do you that. Do that yeah. You can do that with this deck now. That's quite, oh, that's interesting. Because then you got, you can just do this. Of course, it's going to be in very specific situations. Oh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. But it's, you, it's possible now. Yeah. I'd say play one or two of them. You won't even be able to play the shark. The shark. Um, crazy oh, box. Yeah. Come on, crazy box. Crazy box is where it's at. Crazy box is pretty fun. <laughs> cool. Oh, neat. We have three level fours. That's a, that's that's also a link if you want. So that's a decode. Decode, or if you want to play a one-off copy of Bug Blade. Um, I think it's best if we go Perpetua here. Keep Chronicle in the field, use these two up. And then... Activate. The shit. And then act, act, attach all from Grave. <laughs> no. And we can attach more material via Perpetua to it. Yeah. yeah. This is actually funny. This is a quite interesting board. And then we have Voodoo that comes back. This is, a, this is amazing! This is quite this is interesting. Good, actually. I might invest in Spingens. I, I'm actually... If I could do this with Spingens, I am gonna. I might invest in them. This, this is actually good. really fun. Yeah. I, I want to I wanna play against this deck at some point. Not today, but at some point. Yeah, I think that's the weekend video. I'm gonna... That's two projects I have for the weekend now, which is gonna be... Time for spingins. We need to find a good um, nickname for that, and then um, and then doing. Um, a... Yeah. I got. A... Yeah, no, we need a good name. Yeah. Um. Time guns. Time guns. Hang on. No, no, no. Spring I'm thieves. Different... No, I'm looking up time. like time themed guns. Time themed guns. Yes. Time themed gun. Did Doctor Who ever use a gun? Is is? No. <laughs> I wish. That would have made things so much easier. Yeah, but anyway. So while they talk about that, yeah, I think for the weekend, my plan for the weekend now is to have this video out, and then hopefully the update for the time theme video out as well. It. I'm going. I think they're calling it like Gimmicky Tech Light because it's just going to be like an update to the time thief, talking about the new stuff and maybe even more deck lists for it. Mm. But I think there could be a better name for it. Like, like, give me key tech light sounds whack. Um, I 
I can't think of a name right now. Same. I want to keep. I want to keep the the gimmicky part. Yeah. Because like that's kind of the whole your whole channel theme at this point. Gimmicky light. I think gimmicky light. Gimmicky light. No. No, not gimmicky live. That's not the name of the. That's the name of the Twitch show. I'm joking. Gimmicky light. But but live stage. Gimmicky play. Gimmicky play. No, because yet again, I kind of want to. Because yet again, it's just for me like a shorter, Talking. more abbreviated version of the Gimmicky Tech series. Okay. Gimmicky gnomes. No. Gimmicky playback. That sounds interesting. Yeah, gimmicky playback. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Continue. Oh. Yeah, so anyway. Uh. I guess we can end this podcast with a bit of Netflix talk, because I've been um, borrowing my uncle's Netflix description. Fair enough. And I've been watching some stuff. I'm just wondering if you guys have Netflix so I can talk about I stuff. I do. Okay, good. Oh, that's good. We can talk about Netflix together then, Ethan. Uh, what are we talking about then? Uh, I just want to double check. Have you seen Umbrella Academy? I am up to date. Oh, I'm only seen season one, so no spoilers. Oh, we'll talk about Umbrella Company, Umbrella Academy, Academy. next week, because then I'll watch season two by then. I actually started reading the comics because of it. Ooh! Ooh. Okay. I'm up to date with the comics as well. Yeah. All right, I guess what I would want to talk about, because this is something at least Gilkin can relate to as well, is I think Netflix's anime library is a pile of fucking garbage oh absolutely <laughs> the only like shows that i found interesting on there that i want to watch or have watched is like the great pretender yeah that's because that cool. has beautiful animation already by the looks of it brand new animal or bna i've watched all of that that is great i, love I know one. one guy who simps for the main female in that and it's so funny because he, he's also a simp for Garnivore, so we just kind of... So I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on this, but you're such a fucking furry. But I'm on you with this. <laughs> I support this. I watched the... Is it The Chaotic Life of Sakurai K? Yes, that is a good one. Me and, I love um... season one. And then as soon as I watched season two, it's not dubbed. I went, I kind of want to watch this while I play Diablo. <laughs> So I kind of need it in dub. <laughs> yeah, me, me, Jake, and Jamie, and even Razor, back in high school, all watched it. We would always talk about it during English class. It's I, good. I yeah, I read I read the manga in high school as well. But that was the first time I watched the anime, and it I was like, oh, I know this episode. Oh my god, I remember this. It's so funny. Yeah, no, the anime is really good. It it does the it does the source material credit. Yeah. Uh, the, the other one on my list is Compulsive Gambler, but I it's you probably know it by its Japanese name, which is I I do, but at the same time, like that's a weird one. I tried sitting down to watch that. I was like, I I'm interested is, because the animation looks nice compared to Kengen so I hate Kengen Nusso's anime. Yeah, no, no. Here's the thing: I stopped watching the Compulsive Gambler because. It is so sexual. I, was, I couldn't sit through it without with a straight face. I was like, ah. That is compulsive gambler for you. No, it's no, gambling no. with ladies. Uh, like you kind of have to get past it. I like, I, I mean, like, cool. It's a cool concept, but at the same time, stop. <laughs> but like, Ethan, the thing is, with compulsive gambler, it's not. There's a lot. There's a better gambling series which is called gambling fish and that focuses more on the like, gambling aspects or the cheating aspects of it yeah but like the, it, so let's play yeah. manjong <laughs> like, oh. um anyway the, my point is like don't get me wrong like it's not about the gambling that i was interested in it's just like you it's a fun that. concept in general like mm -hmm. nobody how many times you see it like people messing around with gambling yeah, really you fun, keep going but, like, like composed okay. gambler i'm going to Piss off to the toilet real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Like that's why I like No Game No Life because it was like very fun and interesting because of the whole like gambling aspect. But at the same time, there's a limit. Yeah. There is a limit to what you can handle. 
<sighs> Are we ending the podcast now? Probably once Zane gets back from the toilet. Um, twi- toilet break, yes. Toilet. I don't know. I guess in the meantime, I might try to find another rogue deck that might be viable besides Unchained. Because once. Hey, this... What? What? You giving up on Unchained? No, I'm not giving up. It's that. Distant Coder really released his video on it, so I'm assuming it might gain some popularity. It might be ah uh, fair. So like, I, I won't, I won't give up on it. I'm just saying, like it might be a backburn, I think. Yeah, I might be worried that it might either it won't get hit. Definitely not. It's a very fair deck, but like, some yeah, people yeah. will be very aware of the deck's weaknesses. I mean, how do, how do you really... go back to Yu Gi Oh after we saw Netflix? Well, we kind of finished the conversation <coughs> and we're like, well... Well, I still got more complaints about the Netflix anime thing, so... You got it, I guess. Yeah, like... Uh, if it, have you watched King Ginnosaur? No. Good! I... Read the manga. King Ginnosaur is a bastardization of the, of the original source material. Isn't it... But, but isn't that, like, a lot of things? Yeah, but my problem with King of the is not only the animation. Like, the animation quality, like, it's bad. But what what I consider a bastardization of the original source material is because it cuts out all the good character building stuff. Like, everything so far, what I've seen from season one of the anime, it does not have any, like, real hints of building up to, like, the main twist of the series. Like, there's more going to it behind the whole, well, tournament that's happening. There's been nothing of that. There's no character development of any of the side characters that were in it. There's, like, oh my god. It's hard to explain without spoiling, but... <sighs> no, but, like, the thing is, if they try to focus too much, they only have so much time, you know? They can't focus on side it's characters. It's a Netflix more. original series, though, so... Hmm. Well, no, it's... The, the, but also the thing is, like, it depends on what... It's the director that we need to blame, not Netflix. And this is something that I always keep saying, because, like, there's a lot of conversations about Netflix originals being hit or miss, Mm. and it's not because of Netflix itself. It's actually to do with the fact that there are... They have good directors, but they also have some really shit directors on board. Yes, Death Note. Yeah, that's... It's the third live-action fucking... (laughs) There's three of them, Mel. Why yeah. can they not just let, like... Are you talking about the Japanese live-action ones, or are you talking about the English live-action? No, there's three in general. There's two Japanese, one English. Yeah, what's wrong with that? There's Wait, nothing wrong Hentai with that. Carmen has two live-action movies, okay? I think Death Note can have Carmen three. Was okay. Okay, no, no. No, no, no. <coughs> no, no, no. It's just that the fact is they keep trying to do Death Note specifically. Yeah, I, know. I love fail. Hentai Carmen as much as the next guy, but I do not want to see a guy in real life wearing panties on his face, all right? It's weird. Yes. Shut up, Yoki. It's either going to be me or him, you choose. Anyway, the sum of my discussion on Netflix anime, I think the selection they have is so bloody weak. Like it is weak, it, but the thing is, it's not. Here's the thing, though. Like, it's just a lot of anime studios are still tied to Crunchyroll and Funimation. I can tell they barely have all the episodes of One Piece. It stops after Alabaster, so it which stops before it gets good. Had, like, which is where Four Kids had it. Yeah, so in other words, it stopped before it got good. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is though, you can't really blame them, because Japanese country, um, companies, when it comes to anime, are being hold, held by the balls by a fucking Crunchyroll and that Funimation. Yeah. But now that, like, Netflix is happening and all that, <laughs> a lot of them are, like, turning around and being like, hey, we no longer have to sign on with you. As soon as our contracts are done, we're <laughs> fucking out of here. <laughs> Like, literally, Toei Studios had to come, went down to Funimation, told them, right, you guys are fucking over Dragon Ball. You made all this shit about, um, what's the name, Vic Vignana and all that, and you handled this horribly. From now on, we're gonna choose who gets casted as the voice actor. Yay. 
They literally went to Funimation was like, fuck you, here's the voice actor we, cho we chose. You can't say no, otherwise you lose our contract. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, I guess we can end this with a recommendation for Netflix, for a Netflix show. Um, do you have one, Ethan? Yes, the Valhalla murders. It's a great murder mystery, and I'm only like four, five episodes in, and I don't know how they're going to continue the series because they, I think they've caught the murderer. I don't know. We need to just make a second one appear out of nowhere. I, mean, I mean, isn't that like season two things? Like, I knew, I figured out who the murderer was in like episode two, but. They really, really held on to the evidence until the last minute. So, I don't know. Objection. <sighs> yeah, um, I think my recommendation is the American Barkey Showdown. Or Show Off. <laughs> that thing? <laughs> yeah, because I just watched it and went, oh my god, this is so good. And what I like, they have, they have Shotgun, who's like the best character. <coughs> Not character, contestant. And they're like, yeah, no, you're out. First episode, he's out. And I'm like, oh, what? This is not going to be as good as more. And it gets better! <laughs> it gets better. Have you... Oh, here's another one. Uh, this one's for those people who are actually cool with watching cartoons, because, you know, not everyone is. Glitch text. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Ethan. It is like... oh, oh. oh, no, you, you go first. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a gaming-themed TV show. There's a shit ton of references on it, and I really like it. Okay. There you go. There we go. I was about to say, Ethan, did you know they have IT card on there? Yes, I've watched all of it with my brothers and family. Same. Oh my god, I just went <laughs> serious as a fan. I'm like, yep, binging this. Ah, oh, IT card. I've got a gun. Wait, what? I have two sides: trans cat girl, Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Okay, that's a weird meme. Um, anyway, I guess we could end this by doing all our plugs. Gilky, you plug your things first. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have nothing. Shame on you. Ethan, you go then. I'm, I'm at Stampy and Co on YouTube. Uh, I have a Twitch now. I don't really stream that often, but when I do... Yeah. I guess I do. Plug, plug that podcast you did. Oh! Same as plug in. Plug it! Shameless. I'll link it! Ghost I'll link both! On SoundCloud, I have one episode of <coughs> one podcast that I may do again at some point. Send me a link! Let's go! Shameless. Let's I, plug this I mean, podcast so it's bigger it. than my podcast, and then we all die! <laughs> Shameless! I also I also have gonna have, like, three uploads in a day. Excuse yeah. me. Okay, that's a bit excessive, mate. Calm down. Three uploads in Goodbye. one day. Uh, oh, 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 oh no! Yeah. yeah, this week. I mean, sorry. Yeah, he's gone. I got yeah. the I got the the Scooby Doo thing tomorrow. Monster Hunt and Minecraft on Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, what what's happening on my channel? I think we already talked about it, but yeah, obviously podcast coming out Wednesday. Friday, I'm gonna try to have the weekly um. Monster Hunt. Yeah. I forgot. Is it, yeah, it is Wednesday today. Yeah, it's coming out today then. Yeah. <laughs> Which means I have to start editing it soon. Fuck. Um, let's see. And then by the weekend, hopefully, I'll have... Um, have you found a name yet for the deck? No. Okay, no, Springin's Time Thief. Hopefully. I'll find. I'll, I'll have to look for one. No, 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 no. Stick them up. What? Guns and Thieves. Stick them up. Bandit Springin's. We're not naming after Digimon. No. Pick him up! No, 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 like, like, hold up! Like, no, that's, a, that's stupid! Pick him up! That's stupid, no, I'm not doing that. Fuck you! Excuses! What? <laughs> excuses! Oh, excuses, that's not a good name for a deck either. I, I think it will be a very good name. <laughs> okay, yeah, so excuses are coming up! <laughs> yeah, <it's gone. laughs> And then I think next week I'll do a um, update video for the Gimki Tech Time Thief Edition. Obviously, I'm not going to yeah. be taking down the original episode, and I'm not redoing the whole fucking archetype. I'm just going to be adding my opinions for the new stuff and explaining the new engine because I think that's a valid thing to do. I mean, you could always just grab the original video and just add that little splice in. 
and just say the updated. Yeah. Because like, mean... that's what other YouTubers do. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, Ethan, because we're doing, since I'm doing it weekly, does this mean, obviously this means we're not going to be recording Monster Hunter as often as we should be. That's sad, isn't it? Oh, I won? Oh, did I cut out? No, 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 I'm just, my brain didn't process that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, because we're doing it weekly now, Monster Hunter, that means, because we like, we like the bulk record obviously yeah so we won't be playing as often as we should which means we'll be but... probably playing once a month realistically for three episodes yes but at the same time i mean yeah it depends on how we're gonna do it because i mean i'm good to just backlog episodes and then edit them over time but at the same time because we do need the buffer period we do need a buffer period because we need to edit the videos in the first place. Yeah, I, I, I'm usually doing my editing at night because um, my uncle has to go to bed early because of her, cause he's of his kid. So yeah. I go to bed at 8.30. I'm usually still restless by then, so I just do editing then. See, I just do editing whenever I'm not doing something. So I'll like, have a music on or a podcast and I'll just edit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think it should be... I think, yeah, we're just going to play once a month because of the how things are going with the episodes. Mm. But at the same time, like we said originally, we're going to grind. Grind episodes are going to be just... Oh, not even episodes. Yeah. But like, you just grind our own. Yeah. That's not a. I'm, pl- I'm thinking of doing a grind episode once I catch up on my current episodes. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Because, like, next week we've caught up. Um, so... Sometime next week we're gonna have to record. Uh, I think maybe not sometime next week. Maybe I think we can do one episode of grind before we do a group recording again. So. Oh yeah, that would what makes sense. Yeah. Because um yeah. Wow well, yeah. 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 It's, it's such a meh like arrangement. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Gilkey, you're gonna have to keep bothering me to play Apex because the Halloween event. No, no, the holiday event is up, but I keep playing Here's the yeah. Storm. Because do you know what weird. came out today, Ethan? What? Pogger. I meant sorry, I meant Hogger. Hogger came out. Oh, it did. Yeah, he, you know what's? He, yeah, his spin is actually more bullshit than I thought, because he can't. Because he's unstoppable when he does it, but he's also untargetable, so you can't damage him when he does the spin. Wait, are we still recording? Yes. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just wanted to mention Hog is out today if you play Hero of the Storm. And he's kind of bullshit because his spin makes him untargetable when he goes unstoppable. You can't damage him. Or hit him with anything. It's stupid. Because then he can get a spin to victory out, out of a fight. <sighs> mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's whack. We should end the podcast. Yes, uh, thanks uh, for tuning in for this week's episode of uh, Gimmick Cast. With John our... Chris. With, with... <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay? I, I, I got an interview for Coles. Alright, fuck off. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I He's no you... jobless, though. Fuck you. Let him have it. Also, it reminds me, next week I want to bring up a topic about dogs. Okay. okay. No. Bad. <laughs> Just saying. No. 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 Because no, I've. Cause, all right. Well, I'll talk to you about it off the podcast because it's a little bit yeah, more sensitive. Yeah, because this is dragging on. Yeah, and yeah. it's also dragging on. So yeah, everyone say your goodbyes now. See ya, suckers. Hmm. But that's a very hmm. Vill- Gilkey the village over here going hmm hmm hmm. 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 Alright, ending it now. Don't make fun of the people who play Minecraft. Alright, goodbye.